Hi friends of golfers, Eric Schulwer, EJS Golf, EJSGolf.com. I'd like to show you the, this one O&E tool today. Um, I took a couple of these pieces out to make it lighter because uh, I want to show you, but it has this movement like this and like four different bands to adjust the tightness. Um, a lot of things you can do with this for speed and other stuff, but one of the, my favorite things is to um, have my students use it for uh, release, okay? So typically, you know, if somebody is this huge caster, um, they're going to grab this thing and swing and they're going to feel this thing like moving back here. Okay. Like they're going to feel this like way back here. So the goal is you got to get this thing snapping. You want to feel like way up here is the goal. So it's for their release to feel. Now it's probably going to be right here is snapping, but for my students, I tell them they want to feel it up here, you know, up even pretty high. So. It's, it's just a great tool to learn what it's like to totally delay your hands, let your body get going, good kinematic sequence. So kinematic sequence, we want to wind up, lower body goes, thorax, arm, clubs, hands go last, okay? Club last, not the other way around. So sometimes I even think it's good to practice this with one hand to feel how we do it with each one. But what we don't do for sure is any of this movement, okay? Any of this. So we should be, to kind of test ourselves where we get it, position six is where? Right here, right? So there's no way this thing should be snapping if I'm here, right? It's in that continually turning that we're gonna to get to do it later. So we're just here. And it's just a delay of the hands and not starting with them. So one of the things I'd love to do when I'm teaching is, I just tell one of the students, is, hey, swing to the top and stop. So they'll swing up there and I go, okay, I grab their club, I go start your down swing, and they're like, mm, 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 pulling so hard with their hands. And I tell them, that's, there's the issue right there. You're trying to start the down swing like this instead of letting everything wind up while this club is starting to get into position, right? So get some nice width, feel a late release. So you know, how can you do this um, if you don't own one of these, okay? What can you do? Um, you know, I, I feel like you can grab an alignment stick even, something really light, and just feel that sound out there. You know, I do this with students so they should feel the sound there. You know, they typically hear it here first when they start, but we just want to get right here and out front. So that alignment stick, if you don't have an alignment stick, you know, grab a golf club. So I got this one here and I'll just grab it up by the head of the club and same thing. Try to get that swoosh out front. Okay. All right. That's a, a big deal about release, which is very, very powerful. And any of you that are releasing early, you're giving up so much power. You're um, also hitting it higher instead of the intention of catching on the club like this your hands are probably gonna be like this. So the launch angle is higher. So sort of driving it like that better to so get a better launch angle. So a lot of other things too. So um, thanks for watching. Try one of those, start working on release. You'll find out immediately you'll start crushing it. You'll even hit it straighter. So one thing I'm gonna add to this is I hear quite often in my lessons, I need to slow it down, I need to slow it down. And this is coming from people, some of the students who drive it with, with their driver have a swing speed of 80. We don't need to slow down, okay? Studies are proving that when we increase our speed, our body, and this is the funny thing, they don't, they're not 100% sure why, but our bodies start to organize well. Like we're not noticing this huge dispersion when we go faster. Now, there is possible, some people do, um, but that means they're not doing a lot of things right. So if you're not falling out of balance, um, why would you slow down? Let's swing. Okay. There's not, you look at the guys in the tour, they're coming out of their socks when they're swinging. Okay. They're swinging as hard as they can. Um, I know it doesn't look like it to some, some people say Ernie L swings slow, well, 118, 120 mile per hour driver. So he doesn't swing slow. Um, these guys swing really hard. Um, and it's a good sign that a good, good thought for all of you to swing hard. You are not going to be helped long term by saying you need to have a slow, you know, slow everything down. I'll show you what happens typically to people that work on slowing it down too much. 
this club gets more sucked in back here really bad by trying to do it. So I go slow and I, it just nine times out of 10, I had to see the club getting back here, stuck back here because they're slow move. Okay, we want to be dynamic. There's nothing slow about this. No baseball player thinks, okay, I'm gonna swing. I'm gonna just go slow so I get a nice stroke on this thing. Be dynamic, okay? Be a golfer, you can do it. If you got any questions, ask me, put something in the comments if you want and uh, I will get, get with you. Check out my website if you want to see more videos, YouTube, you can go there. Uh, please subscribe and um, like I said, leave a message. Airsore, EGSGolf, EGSGolf.com. Thank you.